Welcome back to the channel guys today we're gonna hit you guys with this week's bot royale the third installment of this series UNSA has been kicking some serious ass for the last two weeks but we're gonna see if SDF can change that today here on the next version of bot royale today is gonna be on frost so hopefully they'll be able to string together some active teamwork and pull out a win over unsa today and we're gonna give you guys a 20 dollar gift card and see who takes it home in this week's tournament so without further ado let's jump right into a match and see who takes home the trophy All right, so here we go on Frost for the third week of competition here. UNSA dominating the last two weeks. We're going to take a look at who we have here today in the squads. We have Najura, uh, Piro, Gangnon, Gangnon, I don't know, Williams, Greenberg, Vachkov, Lopez, and Antoniazzi. Oh my God, Antoniazzi, yeah, that's it. All right, so we're going to try to pronounce those as the game goes on. We're going to follow Williams here as he, you know what? He's boring. He's going back into his own spawn. We're going to follow uh, Najira here as he pushes in to help escort that bomb here over to B-bomb. He's got the sniper route. Interesting start. we got two guys camping here, and they don't see him. He is going right into their spawn, pulls out that pistol, gets the first kill there with the Hornet. What a great kill, and it's a 2v4 situation. The bomb has been planted at B. Good start here. They're going to get a good watch over. Gets that pistol out, beat down on Batchkov here. This is going to be absolutely a struggle for Antoniozzi. Antoniozzi, I guess I should say. These names are absolutely fucking ridiculous. He's pushing in here with a shotgun. This is going to be interesting. And he gets the one. No, he doesn't. He cannot aim that gun to save his life. Um, Could have got a quick four-piece there, but, you know, who are we kidding? These bots are not capable of that. He gets blown up by that shotgun, the DCM pumping his brakes there as he enters in to try to get that four piece uh unsa taking a quick lead here uh we're gonna go ahead and follow um najira again uh as he pushes in here <laughs> with the lmg this time still got the hornet um, in the back, he's got the Steel Dragon there as a specialist, and he is going to watch over A here as his teammates are watching over B. They have a nice split set up here, um, you know, watching each other's backs. Really, really, really nice. Batchkov takes down two here as they go to plant B-Bomb. He is weak, but they have all four here at B, um, and they are going to plant and get this set up nicely over B. It seems to be this is the place where they want to get their setup and that is going to end the round as they get the quick kill as he enters in to b-bomb area they're pulling one from the uh playbook of the unsa here and he gets that hip fire fhr even though he has the thermal scope he's not going to use it um, pretty stupid to have thermal scope on an fhr as it is but we're going to leave it at that here as we enter into round number three here with a 1-1 game so this is going to be interesting we're going to follow nigeria here um as he pushes over to a bomb so he gets that first kill with that lmg he sees the second he shoots at the wall and he gets the two piece here for unsa this is not looking good for sdf once again i don't know why they're struggling so much in the last couple weeks it's absolutely amazing um looks like unsa is gonna get the bomb down here at a bomb no, they're pushing into B, actually, to be honest. This is crazy. Why is their bomb planter still over in Robot Bay? This is a bold decision for him to push B like this when his teammate has such good overwatch. Lopez getting Piro and Williams taking out Lopez in that trade. So it's a 1v3 situation here. We're going to follow Greenberg. He's got a good setup here over at B-Bomb. Um, doesn't know that the entire team is over at a but he could pick off um unsa's uh gang whatever that guy's name is if he just takes his time and pushes uh the back spawn but that doesn't look like it's gonna happen and looks like unsa is gonna take a loss here because their bomb planter does not 
have a brain. So this is unfortunate here for UNSA, but SDF is going to take this one in the failure to plant that bomb. So not looking good for UNSA here as they fail to get that 3v1 situation um, and pull ahead here of SDF. So this is a very, very interesting setup. Um, we're going to follow here. Uh, looks like Batchkov did well in that other round. So we're going to push here with Batchkov as he uses the MP5 with the Hornet. Seems like all the bots love to use the Hornet. So, I mean, not a bad gun to have in the back um, when you're setting up for a... Oh, wow. UNSA Williams takes out Greenberg's drop shot. But Batchkov takes out Nijar. And gets a two-piece on Williams. This is absolutely amazing. He is having a phenomenal round here for SDF. Um, taking out two UNSA players. It is a 2v3 situation. We're going to follow um, We're gonna follow Bashkov here. Um, just because he is pushing in to enemy spawn territory um, by A-bomb here. You can see. Oh, he gets the third hip fire kill with that MP5. This MP5 is absolutely dominating. Bashkov taking it up here for his SDF team to help them... Pull ahead here with a three on uh, three versus one round um, gameplay. This is absolutely awesome. Um, Bashkov here with a five and two kill death ratio. He's on a three kill streak. This is going to be good. He might be able to pull out a UAV here if he gets two more quick kills. He sees his um, partner Lopez here pushing in to help him support A bomb. Uh, let's take a look and see where Piero is here. He is over at B, obviously scared. Um, as hell here as Bashkov is wiping out the entire team. This is looking fantastic here for SDF to pull ahead, but they're not going to get the bomb down. Is this real life? It is, and UNSA takes the win again because of a failure to plant a bomb. This is absolutely insane. I don't know why the teams are struggling so hard to get those bombs down. Communication is definitely off here early on, but we're going to follow... Batchkov here once again he is doing phenomenal he's got the FHR out here with that um, standard sight he is going to push over to A-bomb here see if he can get a few kills as UNSA is pushing A as well he sees them doesn't have that range but he gets the bubble down in perfect time reloads but gets taken out by Piro here as the round begins Greenberg is pushing in um, to the center of the map here to go help his team out over at A. He might be able to get a few kills here with this Mauler. Uh, he sees the first guy, gets, no, he gets absolutely destroyed by Williams there with the Type 2. And we're going to push over to Williams here, see if he gets that reload down. He does. Looking for Lopez. Where is Lopez? Lopez is also pushing middle of the map with the shotgun. This is a very interesting play um, as they have three up still. But, you know, the struggle has been to plant that bomb. So if he sets up here at B, he might be able to take advantage once again of the bomb failure um, by the UNSA. So we'll see if this happens. No, he is not using the strategy as he did in the previous rounds. And he is pushing the entire UNSA team here with this shotgun. He doesn't see him pass the guy in Robot Bay. Lopez looking into the back. He is going into the spawn, but he doesn't see the enemy team sitting back with that bomb. He is really, really pressing the UNSA here. Might not be a good idea. One second left. They don't get that bomb down, and he would have gotten taken out, believe it or not, by the UNSA if they had a little bit more time. But once again, their passive playstyle really comes in and hurts them here in the long run as they do not get that bomb down once again. So, Batchkov, the player to watch here for SDF, he is going to set up here with the FHR once again. Looks like he's got the stock sights on it this time. Um, he's got the Spartan launcher in the back. This is an interesting play here for Batchkov. And Tony Ozzy gets Piro here for the quick kill. We're going to look at Lopez. He is sitting in the back of his base once again. This is the strategy. Batchkov takes out Najira. This is great. Batchkov goes down, though. He is 6-4, and four, but we got Antoni Ozzy here with a 3-3 three and three kill death ratio looking for that last UNSA player who is actually pushing in behind him here. This isn't going to look good. He is pushing, and he takes cover here in this camping site. Timing is terrible. Oh, and gets taken out, but Greenberg gets the trade here. Greenberg watching over his teammates effectively here. We have a 2v1 situation here. Let's see where Williams is. Williams is watching over B-Bomb here. Probably the right strategy to go with 
um, as both teams have failed to get the bomb down on consecutive rounds now. This is uh, not looking good for SDF. Doesn't look like Lopez is going to make the move here. This is definitely um, a bug on the part of um, SDF. This is not looking good. The bombs just never want to go down for these teams. And it's just a dagger here in this third matchup of UNSA and SDF in the Bot Royale tournament. It's just not very, very... Um, strategic play by these teams uh, they have the advantage in terms of players still standing on the field but they're not getting that bomb down which is causing them to lose these important rounds but it's keeping the game close it's a 3-3 game here uh, we do play to six so we are gonna follow Bachkov once again he is dominating um, Najira is doing pretty uh, pretty good as well He's got a 6 and 3 KD ratio as well, um, but they got a good split set up here on A and B, but Piro takes out Lopez here early on as they get two set up over at A bomb. He's going to push here with this shotgun, drop the spider mine, doesn't see them to the left. This is going to be an unfortunate event. He gets the bubble down though and still gets taken out by Williams. So one player left for SDF. He is watching over B. He's going to try to take advantage of that bomb planting flaw that clearly Infinity Ward has not figured out in their programming. So this is not looking good for UNSA. I say that simply because these bots are absolutely ridiculous in their strategies to plant this bomb. So it looks like Antoniazzi, if he doesn't, uh, you know, push anything serious here, he might be able to pick up this win. Let's take a look and see what the other team is doing. Yes, they are setting up over a bomb. Uh, nothing to worry about there for Antoniazzi. Uh, same thing with um, Gainant here back in in his own spawn with the bomb this is just an absolutely unfortunate event here for these teams not getting this bomb down so Antoniazzi looking like he's going to pick up this round for SDF just playing it safe playing it passive and playing to the weaknesses of the other team so pulls ahead here for SDF 4-3 in this matchup so let's see if um, we've only got one bomb plant if I'm if I'm not mistaken here uh, maybe two early on in these games but uh, just absolutely devastating um, for these teams looks like we are going to follow you know what we're gonna follow Bajkov again he is doing very very well today he's got that DCM out uh, and he's gonna push the middle of the map this might be a bold decision he sees the first enemy pushing middle he takes him out there very good kill looking like a different strategy they're going for B this time this could be good and Lopez takes out Antoniazzi but Antoniazzi gets the Piro kill he drops that bubble shield as they get the plant on B so it is a 3v2 situation he gets a DCM he gets the kill on Williams and gets killed by Greenberg's spider mine they are not being efficient but Greenberg finishes it off here with <laughs> that final kill over b-bomb so a little bit more action in that round pulls out the raw gets the hip fire straight on that bot and looks like he's gonna pull it out here for the uh, SDF team to pull ahead 5-3 in this round. Not looking good for UNSA. Uh, could be U uh, SDF's first win in this Bot Royale series. So uh, Najira here, he is going to push with his teammates over to a bomb here on the right side they are pushing in we're gonna look at Piro here as he enters in checks the cliff just because you know everybody likes to hang out outside that cliff he gets the assist um Ganyan getting the two kills there the two quick two piece to uh put UNSA in a strong position but let's see let me guess Williams yes he is obviously sitting in his spawn as seems to be the strategy early on in this game uh, but we got Batchkov here playing it two oh this is not looking good for UNSA it is a four on one situation but from the patterns that have presented themselves in this game I think that Batchkov might be able to pull it off here with a passive strategy if he can hold off here for 42 seconds um, while you know Williams twiddles his thumbs in his own spawn he may be able to pull off a 1v4 situation without even getting a kill which would be absolutely amazing um, this would be great but looks like we have some pressure no we don't have any pressure from UNSA they are just camping over a bomb and their bomb 
planter is not making any moves it looks like williams on the minimap is pushing in but he doesn't he turns around just like every other idiot on unsa and goes back to his own spawn this is going to be it guys this is going to be a win sdf taking the 1v4 situation without a single kill how embarrassing is that very good for your sdf though taking the win first time in the bot royale series so congratulations to sdf we are about to look at who voted for sdf in the last week's competition to see who gets the 20 dollars gift card so here we are at the pick a winner section of the channel and all of those who wrote sdf in the comments last week are eligible for the 20 dollars gift card this week and there are six of you guys so good odds once again here as we enter into the pick a winner and without further ado guys let's take a look at who takes home the $20 gift card so out of all the selections possible we have a winner it's going to be eclipse tragic eclipse running hot with these awards here on the channel congratulations eclipse uh we are gonna definitely send you another $20 gift card again just hit me up on Twitter let me know which card you want and um, obviously you won't be eligible for next week's winner because uh, we don't want to give you know the same same person too many awards in back-to-back -back weeks but if you guys want to keep voting you will have the opportunity to get a $20 gift card for yourself so definitely congratulations to tragic eclipse and stay tuned till next week for the next bot royale make sure you submit your votes to see if you have a chance to win next week's prize so as always guys until the next video stay on the bean you do you live life your way because that's the way it's meant to be cheers to beauties